welcome to today's video. I'm your girl Sekhmet Divine, aka The Brown Yogi, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I installed my locks by myself at home in June of 2020. That's right, it's been a year now, and so you can really quickly see how much they've transformed. I will be doing an in-depth video, but I just wanted to really quickly show you guys what a year of growth has looked like for me. Um, if you have any questions that you would like me to answer about my lock journey, leave them down below. But for now, let's get right into the video of how I installed my locks using two strand twists. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, what is up today i am officially going to start my lock journey so my hair is getting really long and i'm just i'm really tired of it i don't really like the work that's associated with long loose natural hair and i've always wanted to do locks anyway so me and my boyfriend decided we're just gonna take the fucking jump and we're gonna do it i already braided his hair uh, i already twisted his hair we decided to start with twist outs a two strand twist. We decided to start with two strand twists. And so, um, yeah, his is already done. My hair is much longer than his, so I've been kind of like skedaddling and lollygagging and, you know, just an overall feeling unmotivated. But today is the day. We're gonna do it. Yep. The next day. Good morning. I have a beautiful pimple that is almost ready to be released. <laughs> um, so it is thursday july 16th and um i didn't hope for this to be more than a one day process but it is what it is i have long hair and i have a lot of it so and i also didn't want to start off with chunky starter locks in case um i wanted something of a smaller lock I decided smaller was better because i can always interlock them later but anyway, last night I got about, hopefully you can see, about like 60, 60% 60 of my hair twisted. Some of them my boyfriend helped me with, so, you know, they are a little bit more frizzy, but that's okay. Um, these are basically what I would call semi-freeform locks because I did part them, but I wasn't like super, super picky about my parting. Normally I fucking am, but this time I decided not to be. I wanted to really let loose and um, just be more free-spirited, patient not trying to control everything so anyway this is a very spiritual process for me but um anyway i'm hoping that i can finish today because i really don't want this to be a three-day process but it is a lot of fucking hair to twist so and my boyfriend's gonna work so i'm not gonna have a helping hand for the day um unless you know he comes home and there's still some left but anyway I don't know what I was going to say. Anyway, 60% of my hair done last night. Hopefully I can get the rest of this shit done today. It's not shit. Hopefully I can get the rest of this sacred crown done today. And if not, it'll be a fucking 3 day process. Who gives a fuck? But anyway. Alright, so to begin my two strand twist starter locks, I took a box that was about half an inch in diameter and split it into two. Then, nothing to it, I just took one section and twisted it over the other, creating a two strand twist. It was essential for me to begin my starter locks at home. In my seven years of natural hair, I have never gotten my hair done by anybody else. I'm very picky and, to be honest, I know I can do my hair really well at home for a lot cheaper. So, I did begin my journey at home. You will see if you watch my one year lock update that I did end up about eight months into my journey getting my hair touched up by a loctician, but aside from that, everything was home, even my retwists. I would categorize my hair before beginning my locks as 3C, 4A. It was 4A more so at the perimeter, and then at the crown, it was definitely 3C. 
In addition to using a super simple method to begin my locks, the tools I chose to use were very minimal too. In fact, I only used four tools, a comb to create sections, oil and water to moisturize my hair, and a crochet hook. So what I'm doing here is with my finished two strand twist, I'll insert my crochet hook at the base of the section, hook the actual two strand twist on the hook of the needle, and then I'm gonna pull it through that hole I created essentially creating a knot at the top with the hope that the two strand twist won't come out. It definitely helped a lot and I didn't see many other people doing this in other videos when I was researching how to start locks at home but personally I felt that it really really helped me with keeping my sections apart. Yes there was a little bit of unraveling at the ends but I really do feel that if I hadn't created a knot with the crochet hook at the base of my root I probably would have had a lot more unraveling. So again, I'm just showing you guys, I'm inserting my crochet hook at my scalp, pulling through the two strand twist through a hole, and then I'm just gonna twist the rest of my hair down. Again, just adding an extra layer of protection, and yeah, it definitely helped a lot throughout my journey. Once I was done creating that knot at the top, I would use this homemade oil I made that was actually the Do Grow oil mixed with some other really healing oils and I would oil my scalp. All right, I officially have started my lock journey. Let me make sure I didn't lose. And before I forget. Mm -hmm.